operation. We don't stand a chance. Diana. Uh, why don't you take five, Java? Mm. Sorry, Java Loud. Uh, don't be sorry. You were great. That was the best radioactive swamp zombie I've ever seen. As if you don't get enough monsters in real life. You need to make a horror movie, too? You got it. And it needs to be shot tonight. The full moon's at Perigee, the point when it's closest to the Earth. I couldn't ask for creepier lighting. Mm. Creepy? <laughs> More like non-existent. Okay, so it's a little cloudy. That doesn't mean I should give up. After all, this opportunity only comes along once every 500 years. Why you work so late? Remember the science fair last year? <laughs> yeah, uh, you came in second with that goofy chocolate toothpaste invention. Oh, it wasn't goofy, it was innovative! Except for the part where it turned your teeth brown. Anyway, I'm gonna win this year if it's the last thing I ever do! Okay, 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 I'll bite. What's this year's project? I started out working on ice cream that never melts, but it tasted like mud. Then my cat scanner for dogs imploded. But I've got a winner this time! Hey! What is it? Spray on cats. Break your arm, all you need is a few squirts and presto! Uh, it stinks like rotten eggs, not to mention the fact that it falls apart. So there's a couple of bugs to iron out. Once I find the right binding agent, I'll be good to go. Center! That's weird. They've never called at night before. Hey, Java no fib. Uh, why don't you just stay behind on this one? Uh, you can work on your lines till I get back. <laughs> an amazing suit, Billy. Yeah, what's the occasion? Occasion? Oh, right, right, you've never been here at night. Uh, that'll be five bucks each. Uh, well, well, for what? A cover, of course. you got here so quickly. Nice moves, Mom. <laughs> Even I need to let my hair down once in a while. So, uh, what's up? We've just received reports of a monster attacking people at a drive-in near Torrington. Wow, a monster in our own backyard. When did it happen? 
a few minutes ago. If you move fast, you might be able to catch it. Be a Venusian doppelganger, they're notoriously attracted to bright lights. Doppelganger sounds more like a bunch of teens suffering from a sugar spaz. All that candy's making them see things. Either way, your monster awaits. Still think it's sugar-induced mass hysteria? The screen's been burned! Hmm. But I don't see signs of a fire. <gasps> Red dust. Where have I seen this before? Sack of them, of course! Of course what? In the movie? Giant ants turn people into piles of red dust. It's a horror classic. That's obviously what happened here. What's obvious is that we should call the local weather bureau and check on tornado activity. <gasps> Something tells me the weather bureau isn't going to help us. What is that thing? I believe it's a carpenter ant. Uh, they like to eat, so let's see if it has a sweet tooth. <laughs> use a few of these gummy things for my project. I wonder if they'd make a good binding agent. Uh, this really isn't the time to be thinking about your project, D. It's time to be thinking of a plan B. Import activated. X-Rod selected. Just go away. Back to some huge uh, anthill somewhere. Oh, they never do. What do we do? Make a break for it? We wouldn't get five steps. These ants can move. Didn't you see the movie? Hmm. I can't stand these stupid sci-fi flicks. I always fall asleep before the end. The end? That's it. They tried everything against the ants. Guns, bombs, fire, nothing worked. It was then we discovered their weakness. Sound! later, Martin. Right now, we need to figure out what the heck's going on. Ah, good point. I mean, monster movies coming to life? Even I've never heard of anything like it. <sighs> Wasn't a birdie. on this place. Maybe it's got the munchies? Guess it didn't like the food. Uh, uh, sticky, malleable, could make a good binding agent. That thing's not sick out there, is it? 
Yep, it's doing laps in the sky. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I was reading by the window, you know, just to pass the time until the kids get out of the driveway, and then, well, I fell asleep, and the next thing I know, there's this thing ripping the place apart. Can you describe it to me? Uh, big and, and scary. Uh, that's all I remember. <laughs> it's back! It's a beach beast. A what? A beach beast. Uh, let me guess, you were reading a comic book when it attacked, right? Yeah. How'd you know? Oh, when it comes to pre-adolescent lit, I'm kind of an expert. So, how does it end? Huh. Fire hose, you got one? In the back, why? Because Diane and I are going outside. Are You're you crazy? crazy? They collapsed a water tower on it, but, you know, you make do with what you have. One movie, one comic book, two monsters. I don't get it. And it has something to do with the moonbeam at Perigee. Why don't you see if there's anything in the Legend X? Fuel launch activated. Legend X selected. Wow, check this out. It turns out that on the last Perigee night, this place was home to some of the first European settlers in the New World. When the moon was at its fullest, a Native American shaman staggered out of the woods. Hungry and exhausted, he knocked on the settlers' doors, but they were too afraid to help. Uh, sounds reasonable to me. So the shaman cursed this area, saying that every time the moon reached its perigee, the manifestations of their fears will rise and avenge him. That's where monsters like our giant ant and beach beast friends come in. Exactly. They're the monsters of our time. Hey, do you remember that strange burn mark on the drive-in screen? There's one on the comic, too! It must have been made by the ultra-bright moonlight. When a representation of a monster comes into contact with the light from the moon, it comes alive. The legend also says that if the monsters aren't defeated by sunrise, they become invincible. That doesn't leave us much time. Martin? Diana? Uh, hey, Billy. What's up? We just received another monster report. It's from Torrington Academy. Torrington? We're getting the description in now. No need. We think we know what we're dealing with. Java the Radioactive Swamp Zombie. Scan 
According to the U-Watch, there's only one creature of unknown origin remaining in the area. Yeah, well, unless we want to have a radioactive zombie monster for a best friend, we'd better pick up the pace. Looks like we're on the right track. Hey, this might be the binding agent I'm looking for. Not a good look for Java. Uh, Java, you've got to fight it. Don't let it control you. Come on, buddy. You're stronger than this stupid curse. Right about him being stronger. <laughs> I think we lost him. Uh, what are we going to do? The sun rises in a half hour. I know. We have to try and stop Java without hurting him. Okay, we may need to try something other than just running away. How did you defeat the zombie in your movie, Martin? <laughs> uh, well, that's the funny part. I never worked that out. I was hoping it would come to me while I was shooting it. Great! Only you would shoot a movie without an ending! Well, uh, zombies are pretty slow. Uh, maybe we could glue his arms together or something, you know, give us some time to think. That's it! Look, you keep Java busy. I've got to get back to my lab. <laughs> this is no time to be thinking about the science fair! <gasps> Jenny! <laughs> Classic monster behavior. Kidnapping beautiful girls and trying to get closer to the source of his power. And Mr. Sun's only minutes away. Just do it! Eat this! Time to 
Hey, this stuff works great now. I added some wacky glue. It seems to have worked. I'll say. Huh. And if I'm right, it'll also block out the light of the moon and the sun. <sighs> oh, oh, why does my head hurt? You were, uh, sleepwalking and hit your head. Uh, let me help you back to your room. <sighs> help me stuck. Not a bad job, troops. You got everything under control quite nicely. I always knew my encyclopedic knowledge of B-movies and comics would come in handy someday. Plus, now I've got the perfect ending for my film. And I finally worked out the formula for my spray-on cast. I'll take first place at the science fair for sure. Java happy to be Java again. <laughs> Thank you. I think that says it all. You're welcome. <laughs> you can let go now, Java. Please. <laughs>